Welcome to my Not So Niche channel. Every video channel I watch tells me to find my own niche, to narrow my interests, to focus. And subjects range in these videos from what's a niche to how to find your niche. And your niche is supposed to be based on your interests and your hobbies and your passions, etc. Unfortunately, unless I'm completely entrenched in a project, I'm not focused at all. Even doing this video, I'm not focused. Because my interests are so varied that to narrow them down to just one thing to me would mean to exclude all of the other ones. And I just can't narrow it down like that. So I would have to create numerous channels just to cover them all. And I figured, well, I'll just put them all in here. And so many people try to fit in the world. I, however, while trying to understand the world, which I think is kind of crazy with Bingley, create my own fit. I listen to the advice of others, and if their advice feels right, I incorporate them, I use them, but ultimately I do things my way. As a result, I've had to alter creatively the way I fit in. When I was in college, for example, I found terms that I liked to use that weren't really in the dictionary, and I would get graded accordingly. If I was told that's not a word, I discovered through trial and error that if I put little quotation marks around it, I could get away with using that word, and so I did. Positivity, for example, was a word that I was told I couldn't use. I had to use the word, word positivism. I didn't like the way that sounded in my sentence, and believe it or not, back then in the 90s, it wasn't in the dictionary. And I bring that up not because I'm some great trendsetter, but because the only way I can live in the world is to change it to fit me. If every successful content creator on YouTube is narrowly focused and narrowly niched, then what chance do I have of ever becoming successful? How do I express myself as me and not somebody else if I can't be niched? I know I'm supposed to find my own niche, but I have so many interests and hobbies I can't choose just one for this channel. The way I see it is that if that my, my channel is kind of like a variety show, a little bit of everything, humor, education, infor information, variety. Um, it used to be called Youthful Aging for Real Women, but I had a couple, couple of complaints about that, saying that it seemed like it was for women only. So I changed it, as you can tell, and I came up with something that suited my potential viewers and the message of my channel. Because I consider myself to be eclectic, I threw the word eclectic into the title. And I feel comfortable knowing that the word eclectic suits me perfectly. However, because eclectic isn't exactly a niche, how do I differentiate myself from everybody else on YouTube? Am I sabotaging myself? How can I thrive on YouTube when I'm not so niche? Here are the lamentations of a fairly new YouTube content creator. Nobody knows me. What should I do? Should I buy followers? I haven't a clue. I know what I think you're all going to say. Never buy followers. You'll regret it someday. So how to get followers? Do I beg and cry? Do I build a casket and just wait to die? Do I fall on my knees, fold hands, and bribe you all who might listen to follow, subscribe? I'm no millennial. I'm old and retired, trying to maneuver and feeling inspired by all of these videos that I've learned to use to help with my channel, to inform and amuse. 
and maybe provide some fun and some play as you stop on my channel and get on your way. Please like and subscribe and know that I care. So find a little joy and sprinkle it everywhere. Mm -hmm.